Hi guys, welcome to, welcome back to Playing Hooky with Kev. I'm of course your host Kev, and yeah, it's been a while. It's been probably a month almost since I've, since I've uh, done anything. Um, that's going to change. Uh, we are back in business. Um, yeah, so today I'm going to talk about soft, pla ugh, soft plastics and the Texas rig. No, we are not going to Texas, but yeehaw, tomorrow's the 4th of July. Um, yeah, so I'll get right into it. Um, so soft plastics... All of us fish heads, we know that the Senko or the Dinger or whatever you want to call it, the, your standard plastic worm can be your best friend during the summer, of course. Um, then you've got your good old creature bait, of what I actually caught a three pounder on one of these the other day. Um, <laughs> And then, there's a lot of us who love the good old Zoom Lizard, which are money, of course. Um, so, these baits, they really, they really, you know, imitate um, live creatures that fish would feed on normally during the summer. Um, most of which would be the worm type baits. Um, sorry, my voice is raspy. But um, now we'll talk about the Texas rig. So basically, when you're rigging one of these in in the style of a Texas rig, you'll put you'll put the hook through the head. And I like to go about an inch down, and then you poke it through. Take her all the way up. See that to where the to where the top of the hook is, and then you want to thread it. There will be this little space right here, and you'll you'll want to hang on. Let me let me get it situated. Uh, I did it the wrong way, but or actually no, did I? Yeah, I think I did it the wrong way. Yeah, hang on. But anyway, moral of the story is, oh, no. Okay, so don't do what I just did. You want to thread it through the head, and then about an inch or inch and a half down, you'll thread it through. You'll go back up there. And then, what you do is, see this little groove, like, should be right there. See that? So you'll thread it down toward the bottom of that groove, and then bring her up, and then, boom. And then the trick of it is the hook will stay hidden in that little groove and it'll, and then when the fish bites down on it, hook will come up and you can set it. So that provides a very lethal combination. All right. Um, geez. Um, announcements uh yeah that's what i was doing um so i intend on being back um i've had to move my schedule and stuff around lately been working um i do promise to put more videos on um we're gonna have a lot of good content coming up very soon actually um, I plan on having my friend Bridget on very soon on the show to show you guys a very 
the peculiar yet usable lure that she made out of the blue. Don't ask, don't ask me what in God's name it's supposed to imitate. I don't know yet, but it's it looks very good. She, I'm going to bring her on the show at some point and she's going to show us how to make this lore or how she did make it and hopefully we'll put it to the test right here on playing hooky with kev new more new content coming out that's the sound of my washer uh, <laughs> um more bleh, more content coming out here soon um i just wanted to do a little refresher video it's a great Texas rig. And, um, yeah, we will catch you later. And um, have a blessed 4th of July weekend. Stay safe. And we'll catch you next time.